Hello, hello. Welcome back to the vlog. Charlie's just walking in. <laughs> it is now Sunday, so the day you're watching this is the day that I'm filming this. Well, like, part of this. But this morning, Jake and I went to the golf course because it was like 84 degrees this morning, which is has been unheard of. It's been so unbelievably hot here. I really can't stand heat. I'm gonna struggle with summer in the US so bad and in Oklahoma in general. I know like not everywhere is super hot in the summer in the US. Jake and I grew up in Houston and I have always told him I never want to live back in Houston again because I cannot handle that heat anymore. I wanna live somewhere that has full seasons all year round and not summer all year round. So living back here has been tough because it's freaking hot. So that's what we did this morning. It was super fun. I think it's called the Municipal Golf Course, like Lawton Municipal Golf Course, rather than like the Fort Sill Golf Course. We've been golfing a lot. I really need to learn to golf. If you got tips, let me know. But I'm gonna show you guys a couple updates of the house in the last week or so. And then we're gonna take it back to last week, parts of the vlog that didn't make it to last week's vlog. So enjoy. First of all, this is our closet. Have I ever showed you guys our closet slash bathroom? I don't know, but his closet's open. I try to keep these closed as much as I can because it obviously makes it look a little bit bigger in here. Don't mind Jake's stuff on the floor. <laughs> but this is our closet. It's kind of hard to like decorate, but it's pretty cool. So I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this. Charlie loves looking at herself in this room and she loves to lay down in here. Oh my goodness. So I believe I showed you guys this bathroom in the last vlog. This is what the toilet paper holder situation is looking like. It's not all the way in. Don't look at my one nail that's gone. It's not all the way in because I need to go in and like remove the brackets or whatever they had in here and like basically cut a hole out and patch up the drywall and then same thing with this and then re-put it back in because I don't, I want it to be done right, you know? This is our sunken shower don't know if i've shown you that either but charlie loves to get in here i have found her multiple occasions in here by herself just sitting there so i guess she likes it jake and i were just outside in the garden like picking some weeds and watering and all that stuff and i decided i have a lot of mint right now if you don't care about gardening so sorry but jake's that's like his new thing so he's landscaping and gardening and all that and i have mint in a pot because if you grow mint in the ground it'll just go everywhere if you want mint to grow everywhere go for it but if not we put it in a pot so i cut off a stem because i'm gonna make some mint syrup for coffee this week because last week i think i put it in my last vlog so maybe it was two weeks ago I made a strawberry syrup and it was so good. So actually, you know what? I have strawberries. Maybe I can make a strawberry mint. We'll do mint this week and if it goes well, I'll make a strawberry mint later. But as of right now, these are the leaves that I have. It's kind of a lot, but I want it to be really concentrated. So what I'm gonna do is take a cup of sugar and a cup of water and throw all the mint leaves in here in it. And then it will uh, just like simmer for probably about an hour and then I will strain it and put it in like a bottle to be able to pour it out for coffee. You can always just make regular simple syrup with a cup of sugar and a cup of water or a cup of brown sugar and a cup of water but if you want it to be flavored a cup of water and a cup of sugar put it on the stove. I like to get it to where it like has a simmer and then I'll let it simmer at really low for an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this on heat so that the sugar can dissolve a little bit and then I'll put the mint in it. To the front. I don't want to remove all the bushes that are there currently. All of them? You don't need to be super precise with this. Just pick them off. If there's any leaves that you don't want, like this one has a little bit of brown edges, I'm just gonna get rid of that one before. I'm not gonna put it in there. I just turned the heat off and I'm gonna leave it on the burner for probably, I don't know, until I remember about it, <laughs> like 30 minutes or so, and let it just sit and then cool down so that way I can put it in a jar. This is the final product. This is the mint syrup. We can use this in like margaritas, co yeah, coffee, fun drinks, whatever you want. So 
that's how you make it and this is how it turned out it's date night we already went on a date we went to el toro mexican for dinner and then we went to hobby lobby for fun and now we are going to paint his cornhole boards which i've already started but i gotta do like the designs on it and stuff so i will show you guys either when it's done or when we finish today this is our setup before you watch the rest of this video because i'm going to show you what they look like when they're done hopefully they'll be done guess what you think the theme is they're for jake so if that helps guess ready set comment this is going to take way longer than i thought <laughs> She said, really? Now do you know what it is? Another hint? This one, I guess you can kind of tell he started it. Now what do you think? Here is what the one of the boards is looking like, the cornhole board. I had an idea for this, like to match one of his jerseys, like the actual thing on his jersey, but the font is so small that I'm just gonna cover it back up and just make this orange instead of have like, cause it used to have the one, hang on, let me just show you. <laughs> also, side note, I need a bookcase. Help. Should we do built-ins in this room? Please let me know. This is um, a window, an arch window that we don't have blinds yet for, so we're just gonna put a curtain with pins on the wall. Cute, right? <laughs> My original plan was to have this be on the bottom of that cornhole board but this text whenever I have it like written out and stuff I tried to do it with paint it just like didn't work I definitely have to use like a paint pen or something but right now I'm just gonna have this all be orange and the other one is in the garage I have a like poly what is it called poly polyurethane or something I don't know what it's called it's like a clear coat drawing on it so this is what the other one looks like also this light fixture all of a sudden decided to start tripping the breaker every time we turn it on i put new bulbs in it and we thought that was the problem and then we put the old bulbs back and it did the same thing so we're gonna have to get an electrician out here to help us figure out what's going on with that unless somebody can help us let me know okay so this is the other cornhole board it has like a whatever it's called like clear coat drying on it this door got replaced with that door which is good that was like our in our agreement with the house so finally got that done and then this is what the cornhole boards look like so all right so those are my updates for now i hope you enjoyed let's get on to the rest of the vlog to end this vlog i'm gonna do a grocery haul because this is the first week that we've like really planned out meals and everything because my family's coming so we went to sam's and aldi and i'll show you everything we got we're whole milk people so a gallon whole milk unsweetened original almond milk for my sister we got these chips some bathroom cleaner panko breadcrumbs barbecue sauce we're gonna have ribs taco all pastor seasoning don't know i think jake bought that these cleaning erasers because they were like a dollar 25 tomato sauce crushed tomatoes diced tomatoes with basil garlic and oregano we got charlie a splash pad for dogs pet splash pad i got some banana pepper rings i'm making chopped italian sandwiches we got bananas red onions cilantro got two things of the cheese tortellini like pre-packaged pasta tomatoes alfredo sauce for this we got some honey and this six cracker assortment. Corn for our ribs, provolone. I got two bags of shredded lettuce, one for hot dogs and hamburgers, and then one for the chopped Italian sandwiches. We got six Caesar salad kits. I got a four pack of the, or a six pack, I guess, of the uh, Kerrygold Irish butter sticks. I like the like full packs, like the blocks, but this was at Sam's and it was cheap-ish, cheaper, I guess. And we also got this at Sam's, the cage-free eggs. There's 24 in here. We've got cream cheese for our crackers. We've got sharp cheddar cheese for hamburgers. Mozzarella, we're gonna make pizzas one day. We got salami, jumbo beef franks. I think they're beef. 
or chicken and pork. Oh well. Got this carne asada seasoned meat from Aldi. Pepperonis, turkey bacon, ground beef patties for hamburgers. And we got these at Sam's. We got ribs at Sam's. Two rack ribs for $16.03. So don't really know if that's a good deal or not, but good enough for me. At Sam's, we also got the two pack of the Jif peanut butter because Jif is like the only thing that Jake will eat peanut butter wise. We got the Method foaming hand soap. Eventually I'm gonna get like dispensers that I can get like TJ Maxx or something or Target and just refill it. So I'm gonna buy like the big like dial or whatever dish or hand soap, like the jumbo one, the wholesale one or whatever. And I'll fill them up. But for now, we're gonna do this. I got this pancake or power cakes, flapjack and waffle mix. And I saw this and I thought it was a good deal. So I got two things of hydrogen peroxide for $1.98, which I thought was kind of a good deal. I don't know, y'all let me know. And then we got two pack of Dave's Killer Bread from Sam's. We got their ciabatta rolls from Sam's. We got bagels, Sam's. And then these we got from Aldi. So the brioche hot dog buns. We used to get brioche hamburger buns in Germany and they're so good. They had some, but they were just way more expensive. So these were cheaper for hot dog buns and brioche. Oh wait, Jake did get brioche. <laughs> sesame seed brioche buns for hamburgers. Then, I gotta take you off my tripod. We got the dishwasher pods from Sam's and then white distilled vinegar from Sam's. And that is everything we got from Sam's and Aldi. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.